What's the best way to use the ADX indicator? Is the alligator indicator good? What if we test them 100 times with $100 initial balance? Hi and welcome back to Trading Strategy Testing Channel where we learn and test your trading strategies and share with you tips on how to improve your Forex investment. Our channel is growing every day thanks to your support and encouragement. The live market series where we trade the most common strategies seems to be extremely popular among our community. There is always a need to learn more about the best stocks, Forex and commodity trading strategies which is the purpose of this channel. We enjoy trading, we just wanna teach it with live market actions. Today we will learn a simple trading strategy that involves ADX and William Alligator indicators and test it 100 times. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow and encourage us to make more content in future. Let's get started. Here is the summary of our strategy testing video for today. We will start by explaining the strategy, as well as the indicators we will be using and share some practical trade examples. Once done, we will start testing the strategy 100 times and answer some of the questions you left previously in the comments section along the way. We will then reveal the results of the testing process and whether we approve the strategy or not. If we do, we will share the area of improvement and how to reduce the losing trades. This strategy relies on two indicators, the first one is the ADX with the same settings we used in the previous video, where we tested it with the Bollinger Band, the second indicator is the William Alligator indicator in its basic settings. The Average Directional Movement Index ADX is a trend indicator that can lead traders to reduce risk and increase profit potential, the higher is the ADX value, the stronger is the trend. The ADX is a trading indicator that assesses the strength of the trend momentum, by default, when the ADX value is low, the market is eventually consolidating. In today's strategy we will consider entering the market as soon as the ADX value crosses above the 25% level. Such strategy will help us reducing the chances of trading during the market consolidation phase. The main purpose of the ADX is to determine whether a stock, future, or currency pair is trending or is in a trading range. The second indicator we will be using today is the Williams Alligator Indicator which was invented by Bill Williams and uses three lines which are actually moving averages with a spin. When the price is close to the three lines, the three moving averages comprise the jaw, teeth, and lips of the alligator. We will avoid entering the market as the market is consolidating. We will only enter the market when there is a distance between the price and the three lines, which signifies that an important trend is formed. Well the rules are pretty simple. When the ADX crosses above the 25 mark, we will go long if the price is above the lips and short if the price is below the jaw, we need to be sure that there is a relatively enough distance between the price and the closest William Alligator line, which signifies that the trend is strong enough. The risk to reward ratio is 1 to 1.2. Let's look at some examples. You can see that the ADX value is above the 25 mark and the price is above the William Alligator lips. This is a long setup, so we entered the market from the top of the next candle and hit the take profit few pips afterwards. The ADX indicator crosses above the 25 mark and we can see that the price is below the William Alligator jawline, we will then go short from the bottom of the following candle. That's another winner. You can look at these two following trades where we use the strategy, the most powerful strategies based on my experience are usually simple and straightforward. Every strategy should have a clear trend interpretation, entry and exit points. Some strategies might perform differently based on the market where we trade it. For instance the stock market is known for its regular price gap, some strategies are not designed to work in such conditions. When you are trading forex, stocks, indices or even binary options, you need to make sure that your strategy is properly tested in the market in question and the financial instrument or asset you are trading. We have just seen two successful trades using this strategy. Well, this is not enough to decide whether the strategy is working or not. Let's start testing now. We will test our strategy using a $100 balance. The default volume is 4 micro lots for all the 100 trades we will make. 
but we strongly encourage you to use a position calculator to define the right volume size for every single setup. You might have a look at the live market trades we have published on this channel for more tips on how to use the calculator. We will start the backtesting process from the 9th August 2020 due to the platform limitation. We will fast forward the video to save our time, you can reduce the speed if you wish to watch every single trade. Alright, it's time to answer some of your questions, you can always leave your question in the comments section, if you have any doubt about the strategies we have tested on this channel or the live market trades videos we have made. The first one is from Michael Nissen, who wants to know the best time and time frame to be used to enter the market. Well this is an interesting question that deserves an entire video to fully address it. In general when we are trading forex, gold, stocks or indices, we tend to rely more on fundamental analysis to define the direction of the price and enter the market based on the technical analysis. Regardless of the strategy we follow, we always use the high timeframes to draw the major support and resistance levels, but the entry is always made on a 5-minute or 15-minute chart. We need to highlight that swing trading is a whole different story, when you are swing trading, it's better to use a higher time frame as you are aiming for at least 30 pips, each financial market has a different strategy. As you mentioned the Ichimoku cloud which we previously tested 100 times on this channel, we need to stress the point that if you use a high time frame, you might enjoy the fact that many false indicators are filtered out. Nevertheless, you might need to hold your position for a long period of time and incur the rollover cost which might be extremely high. If you are scalping, you might come across many false signals as you are using a short time frame. But, your trades will only run for a short period of time and you have more chances to hit your take profit before the end of the There are plenty of other factors to consider here. Traders who focus entirely on technical analysis are always advised to pay attention to all of the time frames in order to predict the future price actions. If you are using fundamentals, you can enter the market based on one time frame and simply use the other ones to draw the support and resistance levels. You can refer to the live market videos to see how these concepts are applied in live market conditions. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you wish us to make a video which is fully dedicated to this topic. Another interesting question is from RELN72, who is wondering why we are only risking 3% of our account if the strategy has a 50% win rate. Why don't we risk a higher amount? Well one of the elements that many of the traders ignore is the consecutive losing trades that might exhaust the account and prevent the trader from entering the market again, provided that the leverage size is constant. Let's say we have a $100 account and we choose a high leverage size that allows us to enter the market with standard lots. Theoretically speaking, if the strategy works 50% of the time, means that if we place 10 trades, 5 of them might end up hitting the take profit, and with the trading edge we could make a great profit. But let's imagine that the first 3 trades hit the stop loss, we won't be able to enter the market again, as we don't have enough balance to trade the same volume. The drawdown factor is important to consider, a successful trader focuses more on protecting the capital before thinking about any profit. Let's get this video to 1000 likes if you are interested to see a live market experience where we trade the most successful strategy in this channel with a higher risk level, let's say 10 or 20% our initial account. Alright we have finished testing the strategy, the process took around 1 hour and 20 minutes, and we have tested the strategy on two forex pairs, as we didn't have enough entries for the euro USD, we choose the pound USD as the second pair. The strategy covered 3 months time in total. If you enjoy this video, kindly give the video a thumbs up to encourage us to make more free educational content in future. Well let's look at the results, we have made a profit of $261.4 and managed to turn the $100 initial balance to $361.40. The success rate is 60% which sets this strategy among the top 3 strategies we have ever tested on this channel we didn't have any three or more consecutive losses which is a perfect sign. We would definitely recommend this strategy to the traders who are looking for a simple and straightforward trading system. To improve the efficiency of this system, it's better to avoid entering the market during high impact fundamentals and utilize a trailing stop to get the best out of the winning trades. We will live trade this video soon to share with you the best ways to use the trailing stop. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as we release a new video.